Hello, I'm Atubo John, and we began yesterday talking about the effect of walking in righteousness. Praise God. Listen, there's a blessing for those who walk right before the Lord. Now, I'm not talking about religious people. I'm not even talking about pastors. I'm talking about the ones who honor the word of God. See, now what does it mean to honor the word of God? For example, if the Lord tells you, I'm going to come to your house by 12 noon. And the Lord said that to you. You heard his voice and said, okay, fine. Thank you, Lord. And then by 11 o'clock, someone comes to you and says, come, there's a big opportunity in town. Let's go get it. And you think of the opportunity, oh, wow, this is going to really benefit me. But then you remember, but the Lord said he's coming to me by 12. You know what? I'll wait for the Lord to come. Sorry, I can't go get that big opportunity right now. I'll wait because I'm expecting someone by 12. Now, that's how you show that you honor God. See? Because in our lives, we'll always be tempted. We'll always be tested with these things. The honor, the mark of a believer is honor. And honor of what? Honor for the Lord and His Word. That's how you know a true believer. It's not the one who claps and sings in church. It's not even the one who preaches. No, the one who you see that his life is guarded. Or his life is, is guarded actually. See, the Word of the Lord is on each side of his life. So why not doing this? No, the Word of the Lord taught me this. Praise God. Now I remember one day someone came to me and said, Oh, please, can you help me um, be a shorty? I want to take a loan. And, and I loved this person. I wanted to be of help to this person. But you see, I was constrained by the word of God because he said in, 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 in Proverbs, don't, don't stand as a shorty for anyone. He's wrong. See, because the mind of God is that we will not borrow. And I had to tell that person, and say, I'm sorry, I, I can't do this. The word of the Lord restrains me from doing this. He said, well, what's wrong with that? I said, sorry, I can't. I can't go against the word of the Lord. Let's, let's look at it elsewhere. Let's, let's think of how to get this money by faith. Praise. You know, many people don't like that. Say, hey, you don't just want to help me. But you see, that's how far you go to honor God and his word. Now, let's, let's, let's look at it. Verse 3, Psalm 112. Verse 3 says, Wealth and riches shall be in his house. Who? Oh, the one who delights greatly in God's word. See, let me read this from the Living Bible. It says, He himself shall be wealthy, and his good deeds will never be forgotten. Now look at verse 4. When darkness overtakes him. I like that. See, now that tells you that the fact that you are a good man, the fact that you are walking righteously, doesn't stop darkness from coming against you. Now, the problem is not that darkness came against you. The problem is what happened after the darkness came to you. That's how we know who you are. You understand what I'm talking about? See, every, every, every devil can go harass anyone. But see, when they come to you and you say, in the name of the Lord Jesus, get out, then they know that, oh, this, this, this is a different person. See, see, this is a different person. Praise God. So, now it says, when darkness overtakes him, light will come busting in. He's kind and he's merciful. Hear me? Don't ever let anyone or anything make you lose your kindness and your being merciful. Don't. You see, when, when, when people provoke you to do that, they are provoking you to step out of the blessing. Refuse them vehemently. Did you get that? That just came out from my spirit. Don't, don't. You need this to enjoy the blessing of the Lord. So he says, he says, when darkness overtakes him, just, just be patient. Don't give up yet. When you see the darkness coming, you see the darkness. Look, listen, look at what he says. When darkness overtakes him. So don't just, oh, the darkness is coming. Oh, the darkness is coming. He actually says when it overtakes you. So a time will come in your life when you're surrounded in, 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 in a dark situation. But hear me, don't give up yet. Don't speak negatively about the situation yet. Wait. Why? Because light is busting. You know, I love the way he puts it. He says, light will come busting in. <laughs> Praise God. I just see God. Get out from here. <laughs> What's that light? The word of the Lord will come to you. 
So when you find yourself in that dark situation, it's not time to start crying. No, it's time to like, Lord, what do you want me to do right now? And the word of the Lord will come to you and say, stand up, son, move to the right. And that's just all that you need to step out of that darkness. Praise God. And then everyone will like, huh? What just happened here? I remember back then, you know, when we were in school, we went to pray somewhere and some men came to arrest us that were, you know, were, 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 were cultists. And then they took us to the cell and next thing they said, we're going to, they're going to lock us up and we're going to be there all night. I just said, like, lock me up. And I said, Lord, what do you want us to do? I just heard the Lord said, go home. So I turned to the people with me and said, let's go. And we walked through all those security. Now, these were people who were threatening us. We walked through all of them and we left. No one person said a word. Now, that's why. See, when darkness surrounds you, the word of the Lord will come to you. And when you obey the word of the Lord, it's gone. We're going to continue tomorrow, praise God. This is getting interesting. Remember, wealth and riches will be in his house. That's a present promise. Have a wonderful day today. Bye-bye.